23, day four. Oh, what a great week on humor. Did you get up this morning and laugh for a minute? Did you laugh for 60 seconds? Oh, coach, are you crazy? I'm not going to stand in front of a mirror and laugh for 60 seconds. People think I'm absolutely crazy. You got to be a little bit crazy. You got to be a little bit crazy. You got to have a good time. You got to have fun. If you're not having any fun, this is a miserable life if you don't have fun. Now, if you look at this, there's some, <laughs> there's some knock-knock jokes here, and there's some things that just kind of make you laugh, I hope. Knock-knock, who's there? Hatch. Hatch who? God bless you. Is that funny? <laughs> well, you obviously don't think so because <laughs> you're not laughing. <laughs> but read these, 1 through 10. I'm going to tell you a few things that have happened to me that I, that I thought were, were very, very humorous. We were playing a football game. Now, the referees in the audience probably won't appreciate this. We were playing a football game at Texas Stadium, and we kept, it, it just seemed like we never could get a call. I mean, it, it really felt like that... Uh, Referees were against us. So the referee standing on our sideline, he says, Coach, I want to ask you a question. I said, okay. He said, uh, do you think we're cheating you? And I said, no, sir. No, sir, I promise you, I do not think you're cheating. Cheating would imply competence. And there's no way that I think you guys would cheat us. Well, it showed you he didn't have a good sense of humor because he, he, he threw a flag. <laughs> and they marched off 15 yards against us. So I kind of thought that was pretty humorous, to be honest with you. Our son, when he was just a boy, and I'm going to say he was probably five or six years old, and he was doing something really foolish one day, and so he got in trouble, and he got a spanking. We believed in corporal punishment when our son was growing up. And uh, it wasn't 10 minutes later, he was doing the same thing. And I said, Sam, you want another spanking? He said, Dad, I didn't want the first one. I said, oh, okay. One time we were sleeping at my mom and dad's house my wife and I and Sam was in the bed with us and for some ungodly reason he fell out of bed. And he hit. Boy, and you heard that sound. And his mother grabbed him and he was crying. He was just a baby. And she said, Sam, what'd you hit? He said, the floor. <laughs> my wife is completely deaf. I mean, she doesn't tell anybody that, but she is completely deaf. And so I told our son, I said, uh, you know, your mother got a new hearing aid. He said, really? And I said, yep, $1,000. Really? He said, Mom, what kind of hearing aid you get? And she said, 430. You'll get that in a minute. I'm sure that'll, that'll get all the way back to the back. Those are, those are just, you know, it, it's funny to me that everybody, uh, Jerry Clowes used to tell a great joke about a, a country church. And this country church, they were having a meeting on a Sunday night and they were having a financial meeting and everybody was there. And, and they were voting on whether or not they ought to get a new chandelier. And it's... Old fellow in the back said, I'm completely against it. And they said, okay. Deacon Jones, uh, why are you completely against buying a chandelier? And he said, well, I'll tell you the truth. We don't have anybody in this church that knows how to play one. And besides that, we need lights in the foyer. We don't need a chandelier. Now, you'll have to get some of your uh, 
more educated friends to explain that one to you. Last one. I hope you're enjoying these. I enjoyed these. Our big rival at Judson, uh, hand me a sheet of paper there, Mary, would you? And a pen. Our big rival at Judson was Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt was our big rival. Matter of fact, they were right down the street from us. And so we're getting ready to play Roosevelt. And the maintenance guy calls us and Coach Arnold. Coach Arnold's the head coach. Frank Arnold's the head coach. And he said, I got to show you guys something. So we go out there and on the middle of the field, Right in the middle of the field. I hope you can see that. You see that TR? You see that? That's painted on the 50-yard line at Judson High School Stadium. Right? And our maintenance guy is just going crazy. You know, if we spray it, it's going to look crazy. It's going to look terrible. We're going to kill all the grass. And Coach Arnold is standing there, and he says, don't worry about it. No big deal. And he said, are you kidding? And he said, no, that's not a problem at all. So he said, okay, you're just going to leave it there? And he said, I'll take care of it. So Coach Arnold comes back a little later with a little can of spray paint that matches it and changes it to this. I hope you can see that. That's a J, <laughs> the Judson Rockets. Now, I tell you what's so funny to me is can you imagine those thugs, those idiots, those vandals that put that TR in the middle of the field and how excited they were all day long to come and look in the middle of the field and see that TR and laugh, or maybe see it just completely painted where nobody would know what it was and they could tell all their friends that we did that. And probably during the day, they probably told all their friends, if you see something in the middle of the field, we did it. <laughs> And when they get there and there's a JR in the middle of the field, Judson Rockets. Uh, they might not have laughed at that, but I tell you, I think that's one of the most brilliant things I ever saw in 40 years of coaching. The Judson Rockets and the TR. That made my day made real fun. Well, it made it a lot more, a lot funner, a lot better. Fun, is it funner a word? A lot better when we beat them. But... That's beside the point. See you tomorrow.